Idols are meant to be your friends, or at least that's how the industry has pushed them to be. They are meant to help you through tough times and grow close to you as if they were really there. For years, this has been the main objective that companies have pushed on their fan bases. Make them appealing to the wide public, give them plastic surgery to make them prettier. They can't cuss or say anything quote unquote problematic because that would just ruin the perfect image that companies are pushing for. Most idols are even pushed to seem like you could date them or have a chance with their interactions with fans, which is a very dangerous trend that I may talk about in a separate video. But all of these rules, all of these stipulations, have seemed to avoid one idol in particular, which we will be talking about today. That being Ha Yunjin, someone who has dedicated themselves to quote unquote, I want to change the idol industry. And it seems to be working. Yeonjin was born October 8th, 2001 in South Korea. However, she grew up in New York in the United States. Yeonjin performed in many plays and musicals growing up, taking lessons in middle school and performing in a musical while entering high school. She said her inspiration came from accompanying her grandmother to choir, so naturally she became more acquainted with music. She would go on to eventually become somewhat of an opera singer performing in the Phantom of the Opera. In 2018, she would join Produce 48 as a trainee under Playtis Entertainment. Up to this point, she only had around six months of actual trainee time. However, throughout the show, she was shown as having a very down-to-earth personality, she was very realistic, and she did possess a good amount of talent. However, with all that being said, she was still eliminated in episode 11 while taking home 26th place. There were rumors that she would also debut with a fellow Produce mate, Kayun, but after Kayan left Pletus, these rumors fell through. On March 4th, 2019, Yeonjin would become a student of the Applied Music Department at Hanlim Multi-Art School, but would drop out before she could graduate. In the documentary series The World Is My Oyster, it was revealed that Yunjin was planning on returning to university after dropping out of art school, saying that, quote, I thought I had nothing left to do with K-pop. She also questioned her past decisions, wondering if she would have been happier if she had just left K-pop alone and never became a trainee, saying, quote, If I had never become a trainee in the first place and stayed in school, lived normally, and went to college, would I have been happier? Wouldn't I have been freer that way? I believe this actually shows a, a real issue that idols have to deal with and dealing with the reality that they may have chosen the wrong path in life, as we can do. Not every single idol is born to be an idol, right? You make that decision growing up. And me, as I grew up, you know, am deciding to do something that maybe down the line may not be the best choice for me. These are real things that every day people have to deal with and that idols also have to deal with. Potentially wasting the opportunity of something better on another route and deciding to go a different route that could produce less fruitful earnings or maybe doesn't make you as happy, that can be something that you can struggle with. She also talked about the doubts of being a singer in America, growing up thinking that because she was Asian, would she be even able to appear on TV? Since she saw, quote, no one like her on TV, she questioned why she had been born that way, giving us a scary image with racial imagery in America. However, after Produce 48, K-pop was not yet done with her, and on August 24th, 2021, it was revealed that she had signed an exclusive contract with Source Music and would debut with the new upcoming girl group, La Seraphim. <laughs> So with all this being said, what does Yeonjin bring to the table that other idols don't? How is she specifically changing the idol industry herself? Well, first, I want to clarify that Yeonjin is one of many idols that have impacted the way we view idols and the idol industry. Soyeon is another good example of someone who has changed how people view female K-pop idols and the industry and their role that they play in it. 
I do not want this video to seem like Yunjin is the only one changing the industry, however I would argue that hers has recently been the most apparent. And the reason I think that she is changing the idol industry for the better is because of how relatable she actually is. She's half American, meaning she fluently speaks English and does so very often. English speaking K-pop idols automatically become more appealing to international viewers because of their immediate connection via language. Yeonjin immediately became relatable for viewers with her very quote unquote American personality. See the popular video of her discussing the Perella Leaf debate with Unche. I don't care. I don't care. While something this insignificant might seem small, it actually goes a long way in building a fan base. Yeonjin has this very indescribable charm to her, she's endearing, she treats her other members well, she's very funny, and on top of that, an is incredible singer and performer. A lot of people have gone on to say that she is an it girl, I don't think that she's an it girl, but she's more of an X factor. If you realistically put Yeonjin on any other fourth generation group right now, she would improve the quality of that group dramatically. On top of this, she has actively spoken in favor of the LGBT community and open support, and has spoken about how calories don't mean anything and showing support towards a healthier image for idols. I think that Yeonjin is changing the industry because she's the first real relatable idol. She really does, at times, act like you and me. Yeonjin has already appeared on credits for prior Le Seraphim material, featured as a writer and composer on Blue Flame, Impurities, No Celestial, Good Parts, and writing, composing, and producing credits on Raise Your Glass. On January 8th, 2023, Yunjin would release a self-produced, composed, and written song named I Doesn't Equal Doll, a song which speaks on the nature of how idols are viewed and treated by fans. She even drew all of the art that is featured in the video and has a lot of koi references to a lot of the onstage outfits she has worn along with her members. Some of the lyrics are as follows. Idol doesn't mean a doll to fuck with. I'm a doll face. All I'm good at is my looks. Call me a bitch, maybe I want to be one, I'm more than just your pretty face. There are plenty of more, these are just a few I decided to showcase. A lot of these lyrics are very open and self-aware and have an honest dialogue about how idols are treated and looked at by fans. And to be fair, she's not wrong at all, in fact she's completely right, I mean the visual position exists in K-pop, right? That's more than enough to prove her point. It's even deeper when you realize that the same messages that she's talking about when it comes to fans also apply to companies, and how a lot of the companies nowadays treat their idols as being objects. This release would somewhat blow up around the K-pop community. Having an honest voice in the K-pop scene is very refreshing when so many groups being pumped out by companies nowadays have turned into visual spectacles rather than genuine artistry. This release put some spotlight on her in a good way. It showed that idols do in fact suffer from torment emotionally from fans, and it shows that you know these idols are actually self-aware, like they are more than just objects and like and robots, like they have feelings. The idol industry needs to change, not just for the health of the idols, but also for the fans. Fans have become delirious, stuck on the parasocial relationships formed with people that they have literally never met. They've become angry when an idol dates someone else, angry when an idol doesn't sing live when they realistically had no choice, angry when their favorite idol doesn't like the same fucking ice cream flavor that they do. The industry promotes this toxic way of thinking, and idols like Yeonjin are a step in eliminating this process. An idol that actively writes and composes music that goes against this way of thinking. That actually shows positivity towards the LGBTQ community. That has showed concern with the body image of idols. I'm not saying that Yeonjin is 1000% open and honest with everything she talks about on Weverse, nor is she giving us her 100% true self on camera. I'm not someone who can realistically answer that question because I'm not her. However, I think she has helped change the industry based off of her relatability alone. People like her because instead of seeming to be real, she actually feels like a real person. She isn't some manufactured product that's flaunted as some sort of icon that needs a million brand deals and needs to speak perfectly and formally on camera. And the thing is, is that high 
hasn't really endorsed that sort of behavior. They haven't pushed her to be some sort of icon that is so much different from you and me while at the same time being relatable. Idols are pushed as being relatable, yet they are the complete opposite. I mean, are you sponsored by Dior or Gucci? It is the unfortunate ironic part of the industry, and idols like Yunjin don't feel like a product of the industry. There are many people that don't think that Yunjin has any impact on the industry. And whether that's true or not, those people may just be stuck in the toxic cycle that they say is so harmful to idols. Those are the same people who sit up on their platforms and pedestals and turn around and treat idols with just as much disrespect as they say shouldn't happen. Maturing is realizing that idols like Yunjin do actually have an impact on the industry. They impact the way that we see idols. She is down to earth, right? She can relate to a lot of international fans because she speaks English and has a funny personality. She openly supports things that the idol industry in South Korea in general go against. That is the reason why people like Yunjin. That's the reason I like Yunjin. That's the reason she has such a large following. Yes, she's a talented singer. She's a talented dancer. She's an amazing performer already in her young career. But it's because she's relatable. She's actually relatable. She's not a product of nepotism or favoritism. She's a product of hard work and having a pretty damn genuine personality. What what did Neil Armstrong say again? That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Yunjin may just be one idol, but I think she's one giant leap for a better idol industry future. <laughs> 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 I'm fearless. <laughs>